Hello and welcome to Tech Deals Game Performance Review Grand Theft Auto 5. We're playing Grand Theft Auto 5 today on the $350 Acer Aspire E15 15.6 inch laptop computer. I've previously reviewed this computer. Link to that and a full playlist of videos on this computer in the video description below. Please go check it out. Now in this computer is an Intel Core i3-7100U. It is a brand new Kaby Lake seventh generation processor, two cores, four threads, 2.4 gigahertz. This computer comes with four gigabytes of system RAM, but I have upgraded it to 12. We have 12 gigabytes of RAM and we are using Intel's new HD 630 integrated graphics chip. This is new for the seventh generation processor. We are playing today at 720p half HD resolution, normal detail level, anti-aliasing off, V-Sync off. Fraps was used for the minimum, maximum, and average game performance numbers you'll see in this video, but it was not used to record the video. Instead, an external HD60 Pro hardware capture card was used to record the video that you're watching, so there is no performance loss for recording the video. MSI Afterburner was used for the numbers you see in the green at the top left corner of the screen. This is a free program you can download from MSI to know what your computer is doing in real time. The first line is the GPU, the HD620. Now, it is not running at 100% because it is not the limitation to further performance. This machine is being bottlenecked by the i3-7100 processor, which is using almost 100% of its power. Now, the second line, video RAM, is that's how much VRAM we're using, which is fine. We have enough system RAM to handle it. The fourth line, main system RAM, shows you why the four gigabytes this system comes with would be completely inadequate to play this game. We're using almost eight, so the 12 is needed. Then look at our real-time frame rate. We are currently getting about 20, 22 frames per second. This is marginally playable, but we are at the lowest resolution and the lowest detail setting we can possibly put the game at. It's not very playable. In fact, this is a short video. I'm gonna show you the results in a second. I simply made this to demonstrate what the limitations of a $350 laptop really are. If you wanna play Grand Theft Auto V, to be completely honest, you need more machine than this. The, the frame rate is just not acceptable. And there we go. How about we go look at the results? An average of 21 frames per second, a minimum of 17, and a max of 28. This was actually pretty poor performance. On the $350 E15 laptop, this is not the game you want to be playing on it. It just isn't there. Now, the $550 version of the E15 laptop has an NVIDIA GeForce GT 940. So for $200 more, you get twice the system RAM. It comes with eight. You get a dedicated gaming graphics card, a basic one, but much better than this. And it comes with a solid state drive, which this machine does not. So I would suggest you take a look at the $550 version of this machine if you want to play Grand Theft Auto V because this isn't it. Like this video if you like it. Don't if you don't. Remember to subscribe to my channel with the big huge red button right down below. Questions and comments go in the comments box and as always check out the video description my link to the full list of reviews on this computer, my link to buy Grand Theft Auto V and my link to Amazon.com where you can buy this laptop if you want to do something other besides play Grand Theft Auto V. We'll all be down there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.